This is an instructional on creating detailed build procedures from 3D designs. We are using the Power Cube as an example. We use SketchUp, a free 3D CAD program. First, download the Power Cube SketchUp file and open it. To make an instructional, first note that the file contains three things. First, it's the complete Power Cube. Second, it's the 11 distinct modules that make up the Power Cube. And third, it's the complete breakdown into individual parts. We divide the machine into modules so that multiple modules can be designed and built in parallel. Start by choosing a module. Select everything in a file with Control A. Then choose the Select tool and while holding the Shift key, draw a box around the module you want to do. Also select all the corresponding individual parts. Then delete everything else by hitting Control X and what you have left is your selected module and its individual parts. Next, begin exploding the select module into parts to reveal the assembly procedure. To do this, go to the Edit menu, then Group, then Explode. You will see the module broken into several blue boxes. Check if the parts were separated to match the individual parts. Then use the Select tool to choose one of the components and move it apart from the others. It is clear that the selected part is still a group of smaller parts, and this in this example shown. If it is still a group as such, explode it again and repeat this until you end up with the individual parts. To create the assembly instructional, begin to assemble the module back in a stepwise order by using the Move tool, capturing screenshots for every step. Use the OSE documentation template for the instructional. Here's an example of a detailed frame assembly showing the step-by-step, -step, including how bolts go in the correct orientation. Now, how do you know the correct orientation and order? you have to use logic similar to doing a jigsaw puzzle. When you're done, email us. Now, should you be concerned about the instructional if it's not perfect? No problem, because we are using cloud editable documents, and if the source is open, any changes can be made as needed. This is one way that we involve many contributors in our open source development work. using Powtoon.